England are on the cusp of making international rugby history today. They lead the series against the Wallabies 1-0 and a win here in series complete could see them be the first English side to win a series on Australian soil. Can they do it? We will find out over the next 18 minutes. Hello everyone and welcome along to Cornflakes Crib, your home of Rugby Challenge 3 and the June International Series where we enter our second round of matches of three altogether. Australia up against England. It is the visitors leading 1-0 going into the second test match. Australia have made the changes where they really got hurt in the first test and it was a front row which sees two new props, Slipper and Kepo, reunite with Stephen Moore. Also a change in the second row with Sam Carter coming in alongside Rory Arnold. At the back of the Ford pack it is McMahon that starts at number 8. He'll partner the two from the first test, Hooper and Fardy with Pocock out injured for the rest of the series. Now the visiting side from England, they have a history making opportunity here today and they've really tried to keep things as similar as possible. A couple of changes in the back line, see Ford coming in to the number 10 jumper, Farrell moving out to 12, sees Burrell out of the starting 15 and Noel starting on the left wing for Marlon. Yeah, Marco Vunipula seems to have some trouble with his jersey tonight. Let's hope that doesn't affect his performance out there on the field. Let's go for a kickoff. It'll be Australia, the ones with the ball in hand to kick off. England receiving second test, 1-0. England lead. Can they make history tonight? We'll find out in 18 minutes' time. But it's England who are on the defensive of first things up here. McMahon taking the ball away early and it's Karevi. Trying to make his short Please. burst down the uh, blind side. Kept up for Kepu. He's Please. taken down a good tackle. Rocked him back. Still there. Hooper. Shimmies it with current Tron. He gives it away. And it's Karevi again. Who does very well. England still defending. Australia looking to use the... Oh! Kurantrani bumps away one. Through he goes. And a good tackle from Brown. That was Youngs who got absolutely monstered. Karevi goes short. Finds support in Carter. And now it is Arnold who is trooping it forward. Running from the back. Good one side pass. Australia all over the Sony on. Another opportunity now. They are just five metres out. Great breaking run with looking to bust away. Got to be a try. Real opportunity out wide. Oh, what a finish. Oh, it's called instantly dead. Caleb Petty with a real opportunity. But it looks like Noel has put him in touch. Don't even get a replay. No TMO needed. It's out in touch and goal. Farrell. 22 drop out. He hits it hard and long and... Amazing. Australia as they bust away half again. This time a funny pull has stolen it. Release. England had their first use of the ball. Now it's Marco Funny Pull it to Haskell. And Haskell puts in a strong run. Sets it up nicely. It's Bully, Billy Funny Puller again. Slips it away. Cruz goes nowhere. No, it's no ball. Bully, bully, puller. He saw again. He just steamrolls his way through. What a run from Billy, bully, puller. The two of bully, pullers on the side. Strong runners as well as all. Oh, a monstrous hit as Brennan Foley tries to clear his line. Now Australia have to run it. And they've got options there. But they come back. And it's a big tackle from Ford. Oh, and he gets the favour returned. What a start to this test match. Now the Wallabies have it back. It's Hooper trying to run away, but he's pulled Please. down. His offload is not too bad at all. Still going with it, Australia. Karevi goes in for a nice little check around there from Fardy. Oh, Stephen Moore as well getting in the action. This is just carnage out there, folks. It is going off. Australia now with the home crowd behind them look to shift left. And they go to ground yet again. England could be celebrating as Michael Hooper goes through a tackle. Joseph steals the ball instantly. Quickly shifting it out to Ford. Ford looking for his options. Goes to the grubber. Up against Falau. Oh, good defense from Israel Falau. 
Always had the speed against George Ford, but the options were not plentiful for the fly half. It's a 22 set to bounce. Joseph fires it wide. Funny puller again. Harley does a beautiful pass out to Noel, who gets hammered. What a pass! Outstanding! Here's Farrell and Tose! Can he do it? He's all alone out there. He's dragged down. Good tackle. His support slow from the white jerseys. Have England done enough? They may have here. This could be outstanding work. They do. And they go short side too. It's Marco Funny puller this time. But he could be isolated, same amount of numbers there, but Australia pull it away and get the kick away too. Wow, what a passage of rugby we've just witnessed there. End to end, side to side, both teams absolutely giving 100 million percent. To the back quickly, Haskell and Youngs. Big pass to Joseph. Dodgy one, Ford pulls it in and it's like even worse. Watson makes amends for it though. Noel, he's way out here on the right hand side and Cruz goes straight through. This is a great run. He's got Joseph. Joseph to the corner and Joseph the try. England finally break through after Australia dominated the early goings. England have clawed back and they score their first try. Joseph scores. And it was such a long time coming from these two sides look at that run oh sensational from the England pack and then the backs alike filtered through the back line and the hands here were extraordinary against Falau kept him out got the ball to Joseph and scored the all-important first try of the match there he is, Jonathan Joseph, opening try scorer. And England off to a flying start, but they were really under the pump for a long time, and that is a big release of pressure after that early barrage almost from Australia. Here's Farrell, he'll keep the kicking duties, and he makes no mistake with that. It's another two, it's 7-0, England lead Australia. What a start we've had to this test. 35 minutes gone. I can't believe it's been that long. That's the high level of rugby we've had here. Absorbing stuff is Joseph. Ford gets a big shot. Australia turn it over. And now they could hurt the English just before halftime. Desperate to score now. Again they go wide. Got to be another chance. Halo Penny and Kurantrani going to the corner. But another superb piece of defense from England has held the Wallabies out. You have to say, Noel has been absolutely phenomenal out here on defense. Hartley. Oh, he's pinged it for not straight. That is absolute catastrophe for England. They would have just loved to have caught that in and put it straight to touch. Now, surely Australia will get the option. Line out or scrum, they've Falling. gone for the scrum. Set. Time is up. Scrum feed for the Wallabies. Phipps feeds. McMahon at number eight, member, not his usual position. He's adapted all right so far, had a, a couple of bruising runs. Phipps. Foley, beautiful pass, it's one on one, it's all on three on one, it's a try to Australia, that was far, far too easy, English defence caught extremely narrow and they've paid the ultimate price, Rob Horn is the one who went over, Mike Brown covering defensively right behind the scrum, expecting something short, something aggressive and something from the forwards. But it didn't come to play. Australia instantly hit it wide. And Rob Horn all out there, all alone. Joseph had to commit here. You see him, he went straight to Kurantrani. He was never going to cover that ground against Rob Horn. Well, we did speak of it. Australia to take their chance. With a mistake from Hartley taking the line out. Now here is Foley though, strikes his kick again, very nice. 
similar to where Farrell hit his forest and in a 7-7 we'll be all tied up as we go to the break Australia, England series on the line it is seven all at half time packed house at Amy Park as well for the Wallabies definitely the team that has had the better of the first half as far as possession goes that a lot of ball to start off England took a long time before they even touched the ball and as a result you can see that reflects very well in the stats 61 to 39 Australia with all the possession line breaks all tied up at four apiece multiple opportunities for both sides not many taken but you got to feel Australia should be up by a bit more the way England have played with West Ball makes you think if they can turn that around in the second half it could be one way traffic for the visitors Australia and England both with a lot of work to do if they want to win the second test Farrell is back to halfway for England. What have they got up their sleeve? What is the big play from the halftime talk? He goes left side. It's flirting with the touchline. Up it goes. Australia pull it in. Noel is going scooting around the touchline. This could be a turnover. Surely. Very well played. And Hayla Petty has been set up for ultimate disaster there. And straight away England go for the sticks. Bizarre from Australia how they let Taylor Pitty out to dry. What has Farrell got in his locker here? Needs it straight, needs it true. Needs to hit it on the money. Strikes it, Farrell. That's a beauty. Has it got the legs to go all the way? Oh, it does. No problem whatsoever. Farrell strikes it with absolute ease. And England reclaim their lead. It's 10 7. We have just 36 minutes remaining. Back to Bernard Foley. Oh, what a tag from Slipper! Here come the Wallabies! Big plays out wide as Foley gets the ball off loading. Oh, it's been lost. What a mistake! What an error to make from Australia! Now, England, can they capitalise quickly? They shifted. No! He's going nowhere. Will the ref blow this up? Will he let them play? No, they continue. Wide ball, Watson. He's got no one out there with him. And now we will go back for the knock on. Looks like Israel Falau, the guilty party. Of all people, you'd expect him Find. to take that opportunity. Set. And if he got the ball as well, it could have been curtains for the English. Scrum feed, and it goes well too for England. I believe Winnie Puller's going to run it out. He goes to Youngs. Youngs does well. Minier Blanks to Watson. Watson's got room. He's got time. He puts up a kick. Here comes Rob Shaw. And it's a couple of plays there with him. Joseph puts the hit on. Release. Joseph turns. Joseph looks to put the pressure on the rock. But he can't do it. And Australia survive. Now they swing wide. Here's some room out here wide for the Wallabies. Strictly out to Hayden Penny, who has been wrapped up all night long from Noel, Brown goes back for it, he's got trouble, oh dear, he's got real trouble as well, Australia looking to put the pressure on, Hitoje puts it in goal, that is just Nine. carnage by the English, Set. and like just before half time, the Wallabies have a really big chance to put a massive scoring play on the board, what have they got in the tank, Phipps, Goes to short side. Curran Trani. Hayla Petty. Wrapped up in a try to Australia. It looks like Scott Fardy's the one who's gone in. Clarification needed on the try scorer. Absolutely mugged. But yes, it is Scott Fardy. Brilliant play from the set piece by the Wallabies. Phipps goes nicely. Curran Trani. Hayla Petty inside ball. Splendid play. What's a well executed move from Australia? Again, you look at the defense of England here on the scrum. And they just shifted Mike Brown, who's out there. There's three Englishmen on one Haylett Petty. And the ball switching directions finds them all completely at sea. And the second try for Australia, who now take the lead for the first time in the match. 
20 minutes still to go on this one. It's round 10. Foley lines up his shot and he adds the extras. It's 14 10 England. They need to score a try if they're going to win this one. Big pressure now on this man. Farrell. Again, he goes left side. It wasn't too bad last time. He got them a penalty. But this time, Hayla Penny. Oh, this time, Hayla Penny says no chance at all. He goes full length all the way for the try. Straight off the kickoff. And England really need to think about their tactics. Surely that'll sum this game up. 19-10. It is surely goodbye for game number two. Why? With so many forwards loitering out there, there was no one with any great speed. You look at all the numbers. Fully Puller was out there. Haskell was out there. There they are. Noel was just so far off the pace. He was never in the play. Wow, Australia have got an absolute lucky break there. What else can you describe it as? A piece of magic. But that was lottery stuff from the Wallabies and it has paid off fully for the hosts. Here is Foley and it's 21-10. England need two tries now. Pressure well and truly on the visitors. And that tactic, although I got them a penalty last time, has completely not worked. England need to change it up. They do so as well. And they get a nice kick away this time right side. And Australia still pull it in. And they look to more. More runs it out wide. They're breaking away once again, Australia. Oh, big tackle coming in. Blown away. What can they do? Joseph steals the ball. That's not bad from England. But they lose it straight away again. Someone standing in the back there with it. Don't know what they're planning there. Does it come off? It's wide come Australia. And what an opportunity that could have been. Rob Horn was just admiring all that field in front of him. And no white jumpers to stop him. England need to score off this set piece. That is the long and short of this match. If they want a result, they need a try. And they've got the scrum. Good scrum too from England. Young runs away from everyone. Finds ball to Farrell. Farrell straightens things up. Now he looks to be Billy Puller. He's got numbers. Haskell goes well to Ford. And Ford is in. The set piece works. England are back in the game. Well, well, well. Do not discount the scene just yet. George Ford sets them up for another one. Ben Youngs, he drew the defence beautifully. And the white ball, 8-7, and then bang to 10 in the corner. Falau couldn't stop it. Great run from Young, so. And then flicked around. Well played. Haskell knew he wasn't going to get there himself. He quickly shifted it on. And Ford, not having to worry about this part of the game. That's a goal kicking because... It is pressure free for him. He just needs to direct his back line. It is well and truly game on here, folks. It is one and all opportunities. Here is Farrell. And Farrell makes no mistake whatsoever. An exquisite kick at 17 to 21. Australia's lead chopped instantly. Back to four. There are six and a half minutes to go. Keep that in mind. What do we have in store? Can England wrap this up for a historic win? Will Australia pull it back themselves? Passes are desperate, but going nowhere uh, too fancy. Cole takes the ball to ground and loses it. Australia get it back. And now they've got a big opportunity. Numbers wide. Horn. Glycated though. Brown takes him down. Release. This is not what England needed. They need the ball more than anything right now. Arnold can't get through. Gets a great ball to Kempu though. Phipps goes himself. He's dragged down. But Australia all over this ball at the moment. 
Short play, that's what the order of the day is at the moment. There goes full time. Australia still have the ball. And knock on is all that. Oh, they're going to score a try. No, they, yeah, they, yeah, they are. No, they're not. Yes, they are. They don't really know. They're just toying with England here because Australia, and that is their, what's that now? Fourth try of the second half. Third try of the second half. Fourth try overall, I think we could say. This was just ridiculous. Kurantrani, Horn, back inside. Skipped out, went Foley back to Kurantrani. How do you keep up with that? Absolute mayhem. And that little hope England have quickly squashed by Australia. Full time and gone. I thought they would have just kicked it out. But they have vowed to play on. Here is Foley. Can't see it on the lights. It comes down. And it is all gravy for the Wallabies at the moment. 28-17. This one is going to the third test. The side of there is full time. The Wallabies hit back. England not good enough in test number two. Many thought this would be their time. This would be their day. But it will have to wait another week as the Wallabies come very good in the second test at Amy Park. It was a tight one all throughout. There was really one moment that changed it, and that was the try that went to Dane Haler Petty. It completely turned this game on its head. You take that out, you take England making a tackle, and things could have been much, much different. Fadi, Horn, Kurantrani, and Haler Petty. No, Kurantrani only scored one try throughout that match. Foley with four conversions. Ford and Joseph scored for England. Farrell with two conversions and a penalty goal. Kurandrani got a lot more credit than he deserved throughout that match for his try scoring exploits. The full time stats yes, Australia, as we spoke about at half time, 65% in possession, 35% to England. That's really the changing of the whole matchup. Territory pretty much dead even, but Australia eventually nipped that one as well. Line breaks, that was a big one. Look at that 10 to 6. I'm pretty sure it was four all at half time. So one team that is Australia definitely gained a lot from it in that second half. The penalty goal could have been the difference for England, but ultimately it cost them a great chance at a try when the scores were tied up. Maybe they should have gone for the corner. Handlingers also didn't help the English cause. So we're all going down for a third deciding test between England and Australia. Who will take this very hotly contested series out. Stay tuned for the third test to find out. But for today, that is my time done and dusted. Thank you everyone for tuning and watching. Hope you're enjoying the June International Series, both on Rugby Challenge here on the channel and the actual matches out there. I hope your team is doing well, and I'll see you all next time. Until then, take care.